Everyone, family and friends filled Hutchings Pendergrass Funeral Chapel today for services for three of the five victims of that deadly EF2 tornado that struck the community of, uh, of uh, Glen Allen in Bollinger County last Wednesday. Brianna Harris is live now with more. Jeff, families and friends said their final goodbyes right here to their loved ones lost in the recent tornadoes. And families I talk with say this is a difficult time. This is honestly probably the hardest thing I've ever had to go go through in my life. Tracy Shipley is a grandmother to 16-year-old Destiny Koenig, and she caught today an emotional roller coaster. This is the worst thing we've been through in our entire lives. Definitely felt the love of our family, that's for sure. Shipley describes her granddaughter as loving and happy. She was our she was our lifeline. She was the laughter in the community. She was our selfie queen. She, you know, she was just she was all about life. She loved 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 everybody around her and everybody loved her. Tori Jordan lost her classmate Jimmy Skaggs. She shares her fond memories. Jimmy was a very sweet person, uh, very quiet, but a very sweet person. If you thought you needed anything or that you enjoyed something, he would try his best to make your day. Both Tracy and Tori tell me they are struck by the massive support from the community. It is amazing and awesome to see how other communities, not just from Southeast Missouri, but from all across the Midwest, just come pouring in to support our small, local community the love of our community and out you know out beyond our community has been just overwhelming um, so first off on behalf of the family we'd like to say thank you services for the other two victims Glenn Burks will be held at a later date as for Michael McCoy arrangements are set for Wednesday in Marble Hill Missouri Brianna Harris Heartland News as Brianna said, the details have been released for 18-year-old uh, Michael McCoy Jr. of Oak Ridge, Missouri. Uh, he died last Wednesday in, at St. Francis Medical Center in Cape. Visitation will be held at the New Salem Church in Marble Hill on Wednesday, April 12th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The memorial service will be held after.